Oh, guys. Today I'm going to share something with you a little bit. It, well, it, I, it, I might consider it a home project, but anyway, it's just something for something to really help you out. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. But it's, uh, I call it a worm rattler. Now, I didn't invent this, and I didn't believe in it either until I tried it, and it worked. Believe me. And if you like to get, like to go fishing, get some worms up instead of paying two or three dollars a dozen for them, this is the way to get them. Now, you can go around and pick up logs and under rocks and bricks and under old pieces of metal, plastic, yes, you can get them like that. But just right here, if you get in the right spot, you just, you can get them up and, and, and get you a bunch in no time. But anyway, the worms are good for, the worm castings are good to break up compost and stuff in your garden. And their worm castings is a good fertilizer. Best thing good for a garden. But, hey, I use them for a garden, but I use them for fishing. They're good for bluegill, bass, catfish, anything, worms is worms. Anyway, I'll share this with you. All this is is a dowel stick. I'll make a drawing for you so you can uh, you can make your own if you want to. And all I got the knob on top because when you put your hand on here, after you do this a lot, your hand will get real sore right here, you rubber blister, but this, this is just a dresser drawer or a cabinet knob screwed into the top of it. That way it don't hurt your hand. That's all it is too. And it's just this, what this does is, it just rattles. And uh, I'll show you here a little bit. We'll try to get some up. Now these worms, you've got to get where the worms is at for them to work. They don't like clay or hard, dry dirt. They like moist, organic, dark soil that's composted. Like in a compost pile, under leaves, under no dead tree. Anything that's kind of rotten and going away, they love it. That's where you got to find them. Now, I don't have nothing but some, what they call red wigglers or whatever here. I don't have no night crawlers. I wish I did. If you got what some night crawlers is at with these, you'd have a ball catching you a bunch in no time. But anyway, these worms, without going too much into it, these worms, I don't know how this works. I've heard that they sense an earthquake, the ground shaking or it vibration in the earth. And when you use these, if you vibrate them real good, you can see the earth shake around. It just puts out a, a frequency wave sound that vibrates everything. And they must think it's an earthquake or something. And they shoot right up out of the ground. And I didn't believe it either until I got to do it. When I done it over and over and over again, I said, well, this is a bunch of bull. But no, I had to get where the worms was at. Once I started finding where some worms is at, I could get two or three, four, five, six, half a dozen at a time. So stand by and I'll show you what I've done. There goes one. Right there. Little bitty. Right there goes another one. Get my bucket. You just, it's hard to find them. Especially in this old clay mud. I'm at the edge of a compost pile. But they're all around here. There just ain't no size to them. Sometimes you get them. I don't have big night crawlers here. See one coming out right there. There's two come out. See them right there? There just ain't no size to them. Too early in the year. You can see them. I've got to find a good place. Right there's another one. Right there's another one.
ground still ain't good in wood yet. Just got to find where they're at. What kind of soil they like. Ground still ain't warm enough. Right there, pop one. See it right there? They're just little bee things, young. Yeah, I just dropped him. No, there he is in my finger. He's so small. Look here. See them running? There's one. There's two. And they get gone quick. Big night crawler, you'd have to grab him, he'd be gone instantly. Just hard to find worms. It's a little too early in the year. There goes one. He got away from me. But there's one right there. You just gotta find them. They're spread out. And these old, around here it ain't nothing but clay mud. See one little bitty in up there wiggling. Ah, the little bitty thing. I see another one. We'll see what's here. Here comes one, right there. Trouble is you've got to get where these worms at. They like the decaying leaves under old decaying wood, rotten stuff. They don't like clay, dry places. See one coming out right there. There's two come out. See them right there? There just ain't no size to them. Too early in the year. Well, guys, hopefully this gives you an idea how to do it. But uh, you can really have a good, a lot of fun at this if you if you find the worms. I know I enjoy it awful well. And you'll see too why I put that knob on the end of this uh, rattling, rattling stick because it does hurt. But if you find a good place, a couple of good places with uh, some good soil and good worms where they're at, you can really, you can really get a handful in no time. And what you don't use fishing, you just put back in your garden. And uh, I'm gonna share with you the. Uh, the stick that I made, now you don't have to make it like I did, just use your own imagination, but this is what I used and how I made it, so maybe this will help you out, give you a good idea of what, what you, how you can make yours. Now, the best way to make them is on a lay, 
but uh, I didn't have a lathe at the house, so I just uh, used a belt sander and cut my grooves and everything, and it worked pretty good. And I stained it a little bit, just keep it looking so dirty and nasty when you stick it in, in this dirt. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.